Thank you for tuning in to the Rap Palette with another news update. And um, I had to do this one because, um, you know, I'm a fan of this guy, Playboy Cardi. And um, his album wasn't what we was expecting. And mind you, um, I know you've seen the title and I'm only reflecting the sentiments of what the fans are saying. A lot of people are saying. And um, I don't want to put this on him too much. Because it's not his fault, but it's kind of his fault. When you wait too long to release an album, you lose your momentum. You lose that hunger, that drive. You know what I mean? He's been getting money. I don't think he probably felt like he needed to drop an album so soon. But when you amass a fan base that was so much of a fanatic, you need to feed your wolves. I mean that. Now, this article was featured on... A hot new hip hop. Um, I had to do a little rearranging because um just to articulate my point very well. Playboy Cardi's new album, a Whole Lot of Red, isn't a hit with everybody. Surely not. With a large number of folks calling it a disappointment, and I can understand why. Hopefully the new album grows on everyone because right now it seems like People are pretty disappointed with the release of Playboy Cardi long anticipated. We talk about years of whole lot of red. After initially announcing the album two years ago, Playboy Cardi continually to jerk his fans around with the false promise, encrypted teased, and new message release. The only song to release during the lead up was At Me which received a mild reaction. Finally, at midnight, the Atlanta, la- la- um, the Atlanta native released his follow-up to Die Lit, which is getting the same sort of reaction on social media. You waited too long. I mean no disrespect, my brother. Um, For what it's worth, the album is still very clear on its early stages. Yeah, it could grow on people. Just like um, Life of Pablo for Yeezy and Yeezy's album. You know what I mean? They've aged well. Dilet wasn't an instant hit. It ended up reaching a cult classic status after a few weeks on the market when everybody started realizing that Cardi was truly the only person making this sort of music. While it's making sounds so effortlessly, with the whole lot of red, diehard Cardi fans still celebrate the album and calling the 24-track album a masterpiece from the jump. However, there's a large corner of the internet trashing the product and calling it embarrassing and disappointing. Releasing considered, there are um, were two years of hype. For real. You want to know something? I want y'all to um, let me know how you feel about this album. I'm a Cardi fan, you know, I think the album wasn't the best, you know what I mean, um, and and that that's due to his falling back for this so many years when I wish he could have just been just on it, you know what I'm saying, like, like it's the same way I felt about Fabulous, but Fabulous is a lyricist, so regardless when he drops something, it's always going to be, so I can understand why it was a... Yeah, this was lukewarm, Cardi. This was lukewarm, my nigga. Excuse my language. This was lukewarm, fam. Like we 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 rock with you here. We actually we actually love your music, and um, it felt like you was playing for the Bulls at first, but then you started. You got drafted to the Washington Wizards after your your luster was gone. So it's like. Like I don't know, like you know, I, I scratch my head and say, um, "What, what can we do?" But you wanna know something? Um, we could be talking about this album later on. You know what I mean? You have enough to deal with with your baby mama slandering you online. I ain't gonna do that, cause I love you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's a whole nother topic in itself. You know what I mean? Love mama, keep keep you and his business offline. There ain't nobody business to know what y'all going through. You know what I mean? This is why you shouldn't be messing with industry women. But um, Playboy Cardi, we hope your follow-up album is good. We're waiting for that. I'm going to still pay for the album like I paid for this one. Um, I'm going to still buy your merch. 
because you are a very eclectic person and you have a place in music. So we'll see what happens. Like and subscribe and share the video, people. Let's wrap hell it out.